Alrighty. Alright, let's see here. I got the sun, Mercury. Let's slow this down. Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. What should we do? Well, first, I think about doing something kind for Earth, you know? Something Earth will remember forever. Well, there it goes. Alright, well, it seems like Earth had something good happen to it, so we're gonna make Mars our new home. So, first thing first, let's quickly go into actions and add the moons to this planet. Look at that, lovely Phobos and Deimos. Next thing's next. We're gonna focus on the atmosphere and also the sea levels. First, we're gonna increase sea levels just a little. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna find atmospheric mass and, you know, just do a few multiples on that. Oh, look at that. We're around half of the Earth. That's a good amount. Next, we're gonna go to the composition and we're gonna go down and we're gonna look for magnetosphere. We're gonna put a one here and then we're gonna slowly increase it. And eventually, look at that. Lovely little magnetosphere. Protected from the sun. Probably would be a little bigger though. That's about right. Visuals, atmosphere, hell no. Um, yeah, custom. We don't want this gooey, disgusting atmosphere. We want a lovely blue, shiny atmosphere. With the loveliness. We activate vegetation, city lights. But also, I completely forgot about the uh, at the uh, fact that it might get a little hot, uh, a little cold. So we're just gonna increase the greenhouse effect till we get a good old 30 as our temperature. I have no clue why the magnetosphere is doing that. Whatever. Uh, so <clears throat> now that we have Mars all habitated, and I mean, it, it's it's practically habitable. Maybe not so much, but. We could work with it. Uh, I could work with this, you know. Let's, uh, Earth Simulator 65% and life likelihood 42. Maybe we just gotta increase time a little and that'll go up, right? Man, maybe I really shouldn't have thrown the moon at Earth. We could have used Earth. Well, let's see how Earth is doing anyway. You know, maybe Earth, maybe Earth recovered. Nah. Nope. Just no. Nope. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Oh, da oh, oh, I live there. Oh, ooh, yeah, fair to say, I would be dead. There's no lights on. Earth, gone, just, just destroyed. Mars, never mind, maybe I should shrink. No, oh, never mind, Mars just has, holy damn. If I zoom out, Mars got a big magnetosphere. Zoom in, Mars got tiny. Well, after Mars was- Oh! Oh, shit! Look at that! Wait, I just realized Mars is getting... Greenified. Oh, <laughs> greenified. Great wording. No, it's becoming habitable. It's gaining life. Good job, people on Mars. Let's watch that happen up on the map up there. Oh, well, would you look at that? Look at that little fun thing. Okay. Mars, what happened? Mars. Mars. That's pretty good. It's only the bottom part we're really worried about. And it's still freezing. Let's uh, stabilize phases. And melt all. I mean, like, Mars is looking pretty good to me, you know? Sure, its bottom half is experienced better days all right it's a little bit you know cold here sometimes let's see let's see its overall temperature ah lovely let's just turn this to 15 not gonna go down perfect oh nope it's going down but uh oh look the, there's a nice cap now at the bottom no we're gonna come back to you in like two d two years it's gonna be ice again but don't worry because our next target isn't actually mars it's Jupiter. Jupiter has lovely moons, like beautiful moons, but one of the moons are very important to us. That would be Europa. Alright? Europa has a very... I wish I could have just added 
these moons and not the 5,000 tiny moons. I'm only like 6 new tiny moons, but whatever. You get what I mean. Anyway, so we need to make Europa habitable. So how are we going to do this? Well, I do know a few ideas. I was thinking about giving it a atmosphere. You hear me? It has no magnetosphere, but luckily Jupiter has a magnetosphere. Jupiter. Sh I mean, it should have a it should have a magnetosphere. Oh yeah, yeah, baby, it does. Which is good because we actually do need a magnetosphere to protect uh, Europa when we do adventure. Oh, there it is. If I delete it, I'm not sure why. Alright, so next we're going to head to surface. We're going to look for atmospheric. Yep, and we're going to go Earth, and we're just going to give it one Earth atmosphere. Uh, can't see its surface anymore. We're going to give it like a 2. 0. 0.2. That sounds good. Get rid of this. Get rid of the average albedo. Greenhouse effect. Alright, now we just gotta sit here and wait a few days. Yeah, no, that, that's not changed much. So I have an idea. It has to do with its orbit. Alright? So as we can see here, it's, uh... Right here. So I was thinking about how we can just move it in really close to Jupiter. And this closeness should heat it up. Okay, a little too much, a little too hot, a little too hot. There better now we not as hot I mean uh, looks good not so good you know <laughs> Europa is a good chance there's a high chance it's gonna happen we're not trying to I mean at least it's melted right no Maybe I can just forcefully melt it. Hey, look at that, look at that. We got a nice ocean world for us to play around with. Woohoo. Okay, uh... <clears throat> I'll just, uh... Ditch Jupiter. Oh, man, let's see, uh... Venus. Wow, Venus. Cool, cool. What's Venus? Never heard of it. Eh, this will do better. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we sent on a course directly out of here. Uh oh. Well, I now sent Venus traveling faster than the speed of light by 20 fold. How fast? What's its motion? Too bad it doesn't exist anymore. Not so little thing I wanted to play around with was uh, rotation speed. You, sp you rotate something so fast that its own gravity physically cannot keep up with it. Literally. Oh my god, Earth came back. Don't even ask how. I, I don't even know how. How? It actually looks fine. Yup. Looking good. <laughs> yup. Looking real habitable there, Earth. Oh, well, would you look at that? good it's good you know it's good knowing you and all but still a little bit whoa wait Mars is actually still okay damn 
didn't think it would be. I mean, actually, I, I did think, actually. <laughs> yeah. You know how it is. This is cool. You know, I was thinking about, uh... Just thinking about making, like, a bigger moon for, uh... Ours. So I was thinking about adding, like, a completely new moon. And small random moon, right? Nah. Small big... Nope. Small, small moon. What we do, right, is we put it, like, really far away. But it's on a highly eccentric orbit. Like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Hello. One, two. I think I might bring you in closer. That's perfect, right? Alright, so let's uh, put an atmosphere on you. Atmospheric ma mass, Mars Atmos. One. Two. Nah, one will do. Put some lovely water. Ooh. Whoa. That is the sickest type of... Damn. Oh my god, and it's habitable. Oh, oh my god, it's literally evaporating all of its water. Oh. We need a... We need a... We need a... We need a... Magnetosphere. One. Ten, da, 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 da. There we go. Oh, that is way too big for its own good. We only need, like, a really small one. That's perfect. It just can't... It can't hold on to its atmosphere. It's just shedding it all. Just let, let it... Let, let's let it do its thing. I bet it'll be fine. I bet we'll come back to it and it'll be alive. Maybe. Jesus. Just bursting out its... Oh, is it all its water? Just falling out? Nope. Well, this is cool. We got like two little, two little habitable places here. We got a moon, and we got Mars. Mars is just, you know, love and life. And here. Wow. Just look at this. It's so... Why is the sun dark? I thought, like, why is it... Wow. Oh, we gotta make sure we turn off the, uh... Yeah, we would never see those puffs of smoke. Here, where's uh, where, where where's the moon that I added? There it is. Oh, look at it. And on the horizon, going into the dark side, or, um, we look up and we see Mars, but we see a blue dot in the distance. It's Earth. And we land on Earth, probably not in the ocean, where people are living. Enjoying fresh water and looking up in the sky. And they probably have an ozone layer. <laughs> probably like really protected. And uh, you know that there's just then there's just us. Yep. Just us Mars folk. You know how it is. Alright, well, that was cool. Um We made like a few habitable planets. Some of them didn't go well. Some of them did go well. This one has a really cool aerial map, but just has a big equatorial uh, ring of water. So yeah, I think uh, I think I'll just end it there right now. Yeah, I'm just you know I think I'm make about making some small videos, maybe working on some bigger projects later. But right now this is this is pretty fun just to do, just do a casual.
do whatever and talk about it type thing. Uh, so yeah, you know, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, see you guys later. Oh yeah, also don't forget to subscribe.